Hey guys, today I've got one of my really good juniors, little girl Amy, in for a lesson. So, Amy's 10 years old, okay, her handicap is flying down. She'll probably be near single figures by the end of the year, and currently, most of the comps that she's playing in around age group, nationally as well, she's winning by kind of 8, 10, 15 shots. It really is incredible. Swing is fantastic, okay? She's like my little mate. We've even got our own little handshake on the go. So we've got those arms being a little bit higher. Oh, that looked really good. Little draw. Look at that distance there. 127 with a tiny little draw. With your seven iron. This is impressive. Right, go again for me. Right, let's see. You can get those arms, make that little practice move, feel those arms being a little bit higher. Perfect. Absolutely spot on. Right. So go for that one for me. High hands. So, feedback. Shot was pretty amazing again okay little draw very good swing give me your feedback before i actually look at the video tell me what you felt um maybe a bit higher next time so got around, it got around it really well i totally agree with that do you think they were do you think they could have been a tiny bit higher is that what you thought yeah let's have a look let's see what your feedback is like from the feel and the real Oh, I'd say that's pretty ideal. Right up on the shoulders. Now we see the club comes down. Great delivery, great rotation through. Let's have a look from the front view. Front view. Little body really coming through well. That looks great. Should we head outside and do some short game? Yeah. Skills. Let's get on it. So, chipping. Let's get over to the chipping bit here. So we've got a near short-sided flag. I'm gonna try and play some different shots to it. So you can see right here, the flag is cut pretty close to the edge of the green. We're gonna stand over here. I'm not gonna have a lot of green to play with, but we're gonna try and see if we can hit three trajectories to this flag. But start off with a bit of practice, yeah? yeah. Okay. Right, okay, so just play a couple of shots to start with to just don't particularly worry too much about where they're going let's just see if we can get the bit of technique on the go okay why don't you, you just land this just over the edge of the green just kind of let it run out a little bit you don't have to have any spin or anything like that on it just get a little feel for it let's get your technique going okay so what do you think happened there? Um, probably quit on it a bit. Okay, so what, in knowing your short game, what constitutes you quitting on it? Um, probably my. Um... Would you say it's the backswing? Yeah. Sure? Or would you think, think for me? It's my lean back. Exactly, so if you lean back, you're not putting any energy into the ball, are we? So we're not hitting the ball hard enough. So, make sure we don't lean back. Okay, so stay in the middle for me. Make sure we haven't got any of the leaning back. Why don't we make a little practice swing? Let's get a little feel for it. Okay, make that follow through just a little bit longer. Just turn those shoulders a little bit more. There we are, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna try and just land this just on the edge of the green for me. Okay. I'll step out of your way there so this, my shadow's not putting you off. That was a really good shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you got to like that one. People, you've got to show you this one. This is a pretty impressive shot. Second one in. Nearly hold it. That was pretty good, I'd have to say. Got to be chuffed with that one, haven't you? Okay, so make another practice swing for me.
Don't lean back, stay solid. Nice. So, those two have been a bit lower. Okay, so we're gonna try and hit one a bit higher. Show me what would you do? I don't want this really high, I want this like medium height. Okay, so I want this, because obviously that, that one's gone in below waist height, hasn't it? Okay, I want this one to go in above waist height. The ball. Okay, so show me that then. What, you show me. Okay, you'd put the ball more in the middle. Yep. Do anything to the face. You open the face. Okay. And then maybe a bit more risky on the back. Okay, right. So I'll make a practice swing and then try one. Make sure you still turn those shoulders with it though. Yeah. Okay. So go for it. A little bit more open fit. I'll keep the feet narrow, don't get them too wide. Okay, perfect. Didn't quite get the loft on that one, did we? No. Okay, so let's open the face up a bit more. What about make the follow through a bit longer? See what happens. Nice. Very good. That was nice. Now, in all fairness to you, this shot really is only quite short. It doesn't really need a lot of height on it. So it's quite hard to think about getting lots of height in there on such a short shot. Okay, then, Amy, so test time on the chipping. So what is the objective of the test? Go on, tell so us. We're going to play three different shots. Yep. Um, low, medium, high, and we're going to have three different spins. Very good. And what? will constitute or what do you think will be a good result what's our distance we're aiming to get it to we're going to get it inside six feet inside cool. six feet so going from here we'll give you a little idea here, guys going in here got this little ridge at the front here that's short-sided pin and it's running away so probably one of the more difficult shots is going to be the low one so which one are you going to go for first Okay, so we go low, medium, and then the high, yeah? yeah? Okay, perfect. Oh, that's a good shot. I think that was pretty good. Let me go and double check it for you. Let's see what this is like. I think that might just pass. Might be right on the edge. But I thought it was a really good shot. Okay, so which one are we on now? The medium shot. Medium shot now. Okay. So to make it more medium, what are you going to do? I'm going to play it in the middle of my stance. I'm going to open my club base a bit more so it's lofted. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Right, go for it. So, that's landed a bit far, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, what do you think you did wrong on that one? The flight was perfect trajectory. I think, in my opinion, I mean, the only thing you did wrong there, you just did it a bit hard. Yeah. Okay, so let's play it again. So this is, the reason we do this test is to see if we can hit all three inside the distance. Then once Amy starts getting it, all three shots inside six feet, then we'll reduce the margin to five feet, and then four feet, then three feet, and just increase the difficulty. So just a little bit open the club face, let the club slide under. That's good. Oh, that was a really good strike. What's happened the last two? It's just landed on the downslope, hasn't it? So it needs to land about two foot shorter. Okay, so let's try it again. 
Because it's going to it's going to trickle down to the hole, isn't it? Okay. So I'm narrow the feet just a little bit, make them a bit closer together, much better. Club slide under. Oh, that's perfect. So let's tuck the slope, let's run down. That's a good shot. Okay. Now which shot we're playing last? Going through the high shot. Okay. So we can see here, club face is very lofted, okay? I'm going to have a lot more hinge. Yep. And then I'm going to keep it low from the floor. And what about the pace of this swing? What did we talk about before? This is going to be long and slow. Perfect. Really good. So we're going to have a look at what we've got. So this is how we've just judged it. We've got a wedge with an alignment stick. So crudely speaking, somewhere near six feet, it might be seven feet, but just from a measurement standpoint, we chose this as the distance because it was a difficult shot over the ridge. It wasn't the easiest shot, was it? Okay, so the bag's back there. See, here's the contour coming down the slope. So these are the shots. So first ball here is, that is the low one. This is the high soft, that's the medium. Now the two were a little bit further on, bounced off the slope, but overall, really good. So five balls to complete the test, pretty good. So next time, the medium one, is one we've got to master, isn't it? Yeah. I thought, personally, it was gonna be the high one that you'd find the hardest. So that, what would you say, going off that now, that before your next lesson on your chipping, which shot do you need to practice the most? Medium. Okay, so you just need to go and pr practice that a little bit and then see how you can get on in that challenge on your own, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. So then guys, so that was really, really good, but we haven't told anyone. What was my demo like? Go on, you gotta say it. He got a hole in one. I got a bit lucky, chip one in. Didn't I? <laughs> I didn't put it on camera because we just thought it might be a bit cheeky, but. <laughs> We couldn't fail to say it at the end, could we? <laughs> but she is doing great. She's off to Wee Wonders in Scotland in a couple of weeks. So hopefully, we'll have a win there, eh? Yeah. Handicap is flying down at the minute on the way to single figures at 10. Pretty amazing, really. So follow her on Twitter if you want to. It is Amy Golf. Yeah. Amy Golf. Okay, so have a look at Amy Golf or if you want to find her through my Twitter, have a look on there. So guys, hope you really enjoyed that video. What you can see is, even at 10 years of age, hitting it a long way. It's not just going to be about how fast you swing it. She's clearly very efficient how she hits the golf ball, hits great distances, short games, fantastic. If you haven't followed her, jump over onto her Twitter channel, give her a little follow, little like, and she'll be able to keep up with her progress. We're going to be showing her again on the channel going forward. If you've liked this, let us know if you'd like to see more videos like this with other players. Thanks for watching and talk with you again very soon.